One question that comes up fairly often, and so I thought I would address it in a video, is whether or not you as an individual are allowed to covertly, in secret, record your conversations, whether they are in person or on the telephone. But first of all, if you're new to me, I'm a barrister who helps you understand law, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you receive notifications of new videos. And make sure you drop your questions in the box below because they might find their way onto a video like this one or on my sister channel Black Belt Secrets where I answer questions in the comments. And as usual there is a short answer and a long answer and you know that I like to give you the short answer first and then give you a bit more detail. The short answer is yes you can record your conversations be they in person or on the telephone and even if they are covert. However, the long version obviously has a little bit more detail with a few caveats. And speaking of caveats, I'm going to start with a caveat of my own, which is that this video is in no way intended to encourage people to be secretive, deceitful, go around and secretly record things without the other person's knowledge in the attempt to trap them in some kind of unfair situation. In fact, that is one of the things that comes out in the long version of my explanation. So as I said, the short version is yes, as an individual, you can record your conversations. Now I emphasize individual because I'm speaking of individuals in this video rather than businesses, although the situation is broadly similar for businesses, providing that the business deals with a few more regulations, but I'm going to deal with businesses in a separate video. So make sure you subscribe for that one too. So as I said, the broad position is that individuals can record your own conversations. Many people will think this is a breach of GDPR, but as an individual and using recordings for wholly household purpose will be exempt from GDPR. However, the overarching caveat with all of this comes when you actually intend to use any of the covertly recorded material. So in essence, you should think of recording these conversations for your own personal use and reference. Now, there are lots of different reasons that you might want to record it yourself. Potentially, if you are slightly hard of hearing and you may not catch every word during the conversation, but you want to listen to it properly later so you can refer to it and remind yourself of precisely what was said. This is particularly relevant if you are taking out insurance contracts and you want to make sure that the information you are given matches what you want and that the information you have given is correct. It may be that as a household you want to discuss that information together and instead of trying to recall what was said you want to accurately discuss what was said within your household. This might be another valid reason to record the conversation. Perhaps you're entering a new contract and you want to ensure that the promises made by the salesperson are honored by the company. After all, if the salesperson makes a representation of fact to you, this will almost certainly become a term of the contract, which if breached, puts the company in breach of contract. But if that isn't written down, but is still a representation to you, you will want to have a record of those terms so that you can refer back to them later. So all of these are reasons that you might want to record to have a record of what was said and discussed at the time. However, the difficulty comes when you want to refer to it. Not only might there be a breach of confidence if you are disclosing third party information and data, but there may also be a question about the fairness of the proceedings if you've recorded something covertly without the other party knowing it. In the case of employment tribunals, my understanding from other professionals is that whilst the tribunal may initially say that the employee shouldn't have recorded the conversation, they will still go on to hear it later. In my own experience in practice as a barrister, Recordings do often end up being heard by a court and even as a transcript in full evidence. This is particularly relevant when there are serious allegations and the court wants to get to the fact of the matter by hearing the recording. But you cannot and must not assume that if you make a recording that it's going to find its way into court proceedings. You will need the permission of the judge to use such recordings particularly if they are served late and particularly if they were recorded covertly. On the other hand, which I would say is best practice, is you could speak to the other person and just let them know that you are making this recording so that at least it is with their knowledge. They may not even agree to talk to you if you're recording the conversation, but at the very least, if you let them know that you're recording it, then there is less of an argument as to whether it is unfair to use such recordings in proceedings if that becomes necessary. And remember as well, just because you can record something for your personal records, it doesn't mean you can publish it online or even to any other third person. And that includes the court, again, as I said, without the court's permission. 
And this will apply to any conversation regardless of where you are. Many people think that just because you are in public then you have lost all right to privacy and anything goes. This is not quite true because if there is what we call a necessary quality of confidence about the conversation and it is recorded covertly then there may very well be a breach of confidence if this material is then published to other people. So I hope that provides you something of an overview. The bottom line is you can record conversations with other people even without their knowledge but provided that it is for your own personal use and reference. If you use it for any other purpose you will either need permission from the other party or as I said if it's in court you will need permission of the court. As I often say law is a very careful balance of rights and duties of individuals trying to maintain a fair society whilst allowing people to go about their business, keep good records of their activities, but without it being to the detriment and unfairness of others. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and remember, stay humble and subscribe.